Welcome back everyone and a big welcome back to Ella. To think, you weren't so willing to be on my vlogs when I first started. Look at me now. Yeah, look at you now. Dating. Keeping deep, dark secrets from your dear and close friends. <sighs> this again? Yes, this again. You conveniently forgot to mention that you were dating another of our friends. Secret secrets are no fun. Why don't we get back to what we actually are supposed to do on these vlogs and talk about you? Well? Fine. Let's move on, Robert Hansen. Who even is that? He was a former FBI agent who sold American military intelligence to the Soviets for two decades. In keeping with the pattern of these vlogs, we're going to do a question and answer segment where I'm going to ask Ella some of the most wanted questions. First question. What made you decide to date Eddie? Um, it was after the Skype call with her. Uh, honestly, her knowledge of Star Wars was what really impressed me. Mm. You do love your Star Wars? I do. Question two. Who asked who out? Eddie asked me out. She asked me to go to a showing of Star Wars and then to the beach and then to get ice cream. Number three asked uh, what your first date was, so we'll move on to yeah. number four. Have you met the parents yet? Uh, she's met my parents. We all went out to dinner last week, and I'm meeting her parents when they're in town next month. So gross and adorable. Mm. Fifth question. Why did you keep it a secret? No judgment here. I'm just curious, and I'm sure the internet wants to know. Well, there's a lot of pressure that comes with dating a friend's friend. We didn't want the stress of people knowing, and then if things didn't work out, it would just start us all off on the wrong foot. Uh, so we decided to wait until we knew th where things were going, and then we could tell our friends. Can't even be mad about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Next question. Wait. This one's from Christina. She must have snuck it in somehow. Oh, God. What is it? <laughs> it's nothing inappropriate. Oh. She wants to know when Eddie is coming to visit. Oh, well, that's an easy one. She's on a work trip right now, but she'll be back in four days, so sometime next week we should all be able to get together. Hmm. You'll meet her soon. Here's the final question. Would you consider this an online dating success? Does this count as online dating? I mean, you met her through Skype, and I met her through online dating, so one could argue it is. Okay, well, in that case, yes, I think it's a success. Glad to hear it. So, what now? I don't know. I didn't really have anything planned after that. Hmm. Well, you still haven't discussed your date with JD. It feels weird talking about him with you. Wait, why? Because you know him in real life? That doesn't make any sense. You know Eddie in real life? Yeah, okay, fair. So? Our date was fun. It was pretty nerve-wracking at first because I didn't know what he looked like and I barely knew anything about him. But when I got to the table, he was waiting with wine, which mm. for me is a great way to start off a night. Anyway, we talked about, well, everything. He's a cool person to hang around. Yeah. But how do you feel about him? I'm feeling optimistic. We found each other on Friendbook, and we're working on planning a second date. That's such a weird site name. Agreed. You'd think they'd be able to come up with something better. Yeah. Anyway, we're still working out when we're going to go, but we are going to go to a small brewery for a tasting. Mm. So here is my date outfit. See you next week, Internet. So, Amelia, serious talk for a moment. What's up? Have you interacted at all with Leighton? No, not at all. Not even on All Right After Daddy? Nope. I did block him, though. Oh? Yeah, it wasn't helping me to see his profile on there. Yeah, that's understandable. You doing okay? I am. I had my moping time and everything. And we were together for only three-ish months. I definitely was upset about the breakup, but it wasn't a deep bond, considering the length of the relationship. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear it.